Hi everybody, um, I'm here on the Smooth On Fan Channel and I just want to show everyone what I'm up to, what I'm making today. I've been super into marbling lately and here's my little Buddha guy. He's made out of Smoothcast 325 and Eurofill 7 and some So Strong color pigments and I don't know, I just think it looks really cool. I love doing the marble effects so I have fun with that and so today I'm going to try and make kind of like a fiery red version of what he is. Um, I made the mold myself out of Rebound 25, and the shell is out of Matrix Neo, so it's super thin but super strong, which is kind of nice. Um, I have my part A and my part B of Smoothcast 325, and then it's to two parts Eurofill 7. And below, I have three colors I'm going to use. Um, and usually I've only made them with two, but I'm going to try with three today, which is a little bit of a challenge just because once you start mixing the A and the B, your pot life isn't so long, so you, you definitely want to prepare and like kind of pour them into their separate cups so that pouring for you is pretty easy. So you don't want to break a sweat and kill yourself as you're trying to mix. So first I'm going to take um, my part B and I'm going to pour it into my bigger container here and I'm going to scrape the sides and bottom to get it all out just because you can use two cups that are the same size and kind of pour it to the very top so that you get as even as a mixture as you can but you want to scrape out whatever you have just so you don't waste material and so that um, both your A and B's are pretty even. So I'm going to pre-mix that a little bit and then I'm going to take my Eurofill and I'm going to mix it into my part B and so one cup at a time I'm going to mix it up just so that it kind of gets like a uniform consistency I guess so you pour in your first one and then you wanna kinda of mix it up and it'll make it easier to pour in your second cup of powder Eurofill and um, after that you're gonna mix a lot it's gonna be a little hard but that's okay um, mix a lot mix a lot and you should get kind of like a pasty yucky consistency but that's fine um, so once you kinda have like a uniform consistency throughout your bucket and after you kind of scrape the sides and bottom make sure there's no like dry parts of powder in there you have that nice consistency that's your part B and your Eurofill together it kind of is just like creamy and like like glue I guess I don't know maybe a little thicker than glue but um, I'm gonna actually take a drill mixer that I have which you can buy them at Home Depot super cheap um, made out of polyurethane which doesn't stick to anything and I'm using this because um, the pot life of 325 is super fast and so I want to be able to mix as fast as I can as much as I can since I'm using three colors so I'm gonna get all my stuff together get everything right in front of me and there you have it so I'm gonna kind of start to drill mix a little bit and as I pour in my part A you can kind of dump it all in at once and because your pot life is so slow scraping the sides and bottoms of part A isn't quite as important oops the bucket went a little crazy there but um what you want to do is after you jump in your part A kind of shake it out more than scrape it just because you don't really have time and uh, I'm going to keep drill mixing and not too fast you don't want to splash all over you but just enough so you get a really consistent mixture of the A and the B and the Eurofill and so what you do after this is really well mixed is you're going to pour the white A, B, and Eurofill mixture into your three cups with one drop of the So Strong color pigments in each. All three of these are different. I have a red and an orange and a yellow. And so I'm gonna, after I mix, I'm gonna pour this big container, little dollops of it into these little jello shot cups, if you will. And then I'm gonna mix those super fast and then I'm gonna drizzle them into my guy. So I gotta work pretty quickly right now. Here I go, I'm gonna pour them into my little baby cups and just a little bit each you really don't need very much and so I'm gonna take I think yeah this is my yellow and so you want to drizzle it on in there kind of random pattern you know back and forth a little a few dots of color depending on how much you want but you actually need way less than you think if you pour in too much then uh your, your Buddha or whatever you're making to marble is going to turn out too colored and you kind of won't get that nice marble effect so make sure you don't pour in too much and then this is my red color here my red so strong so I'm going to drizzle that in too and you do not this is super important don't mix 
your mixture after you've drizzled the colors in because the drizzle is what's giving you all that marble. So here I go, I'm gonna pour in a really random pattern, kind of move back and forth and you can see how it kind of comes out in like a swirling. And the cool thing about marbling is you can play with it, you know, like, I mean, if you have the means to get more product and mess around with it, then you can try marbling one, two, three different things. And, you know, sometimes I find my stuff comes out too white, it comes out a little too pigmented, and so you can kind of mess around with how much you want in there. But the urophil actually uh, has a little bit of moisture, so you don't necessarily want to fill over the top. You definitely want to fill, if at all, a little bit under the top of your mold because it's going to foam just a, a teeny tiny bit if it's been sitting out a little bit like mine has. So that's it for now. Um, I'm going to wait 10 minutes for this to cure up and 10, 15, and then I will come back. So now my little Buddha guy is all cured up. You can see the smooth cast and the Eurofill mixture is kind of foamed a little bit. It's risen over the top just slightly and that's super easy to kind of just sand or cut off. I, I like to sand it off. It's a little safer. It's a, it comes out with a bit of a nicer bottom. And so it's time for me to demold. I'm going to take my support shell off and kind of rip away my glove mold. And I just want to point out again that this stuff does foam up. So definitely pour a little bit under. And it does get hot, so kind of wait until it's a little bit cooler to demold. Um, if you demold it too fast, it will come out in a normal form, but it's going to be a little soft. So to capture the most detail, I would probably leave it in there until it's like lukewarm and pretty easy to touch. You don't want to take it out when it hurts your hands. So let me just take my shell off. All right, there we go. Set that over here. And then I'm going to, now this is a glove mold, so I don't have a cut seam, so I just peel it off like you would, oh gosh, I have no idea. You just pull it off. You don't have to split it open or anything. You don't have to cut it. You can use the mold a million times. Rebound is awesome stuff. And so I'm peeling it away from my guy, lukewarm. And there we go. And ta-da! Woo, he looks cool. I mean, I haven't seen it just as much as you guys have, but um, there's my marbly, fiery red Buddha, and that's all there is to it. But Smooth On's awesome, so definitely mess around with your products. These make great Christmas gifts, and thanks for watching. See you guys, see you guys later. Post your work on the Smooth On fan channel. I'd love to see what you guys are up to. Thanks.